Hey guys, welcome back to the ranch. Today, I wanna look at something not vehicle specific, just how we can go from a part that looks like this, which in my case is the sidestep, which is chrome, to this sidestep, which is now textured black. Um, and we will be using this product, not a sponsor, uh, truck bed platinum spray on bed liner to achieve that. And I'll just quickly in this video, go over the steps, how to achieve that. So let's get started. First off, get your part that you want. In my case, it was a step, took it off and removed all the plastic parts off of it. Next, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna prepare it for painting. So I took it outside and step one for me is going to pressure wash this piece now from all sides to get all the dirt and grime off. And then the step after that will be of course dry it and then I'm gonna take my uh, random orbital DA sander here. And I currently got like, a, let's see, I can see it. I think it's about a hundred grit paper on here. Yeah, hundred grit sandpaper. And we're going to sand the entire uh, piece that we're working on to get uh, all the shininess off of it so that the truck bed liner paint is something nice to grab on. So let's get started. So we've done the pressure washing part and now you can see when you look at it, see how reflective it still is. Now that's the natural chrome finish of this. And now if we were to go spray the bed liner on this, it wouldn't hold very well or basically not at all. So I'll just quickly demonstrate by hand. Now, this is not a very strong one right here. Hang on. I'll go get the rougher one. Is a lot better with the machine. But this is just for demonstration purposes. So you can hear me talk afterwards. You can see how basically all scratched up and dull looking it's going to get. Let me get you guys closer so you can see. See over here, you can see the reflection and everything. And here is pretty much gone as soon as you're right there. You don't see the reflection anymore. So that's the finish that we are looking for on this entire thing. So that we're gonna be able to spray it afterwards with the bed liner um, so that it will actually have a chance of sticking and look decent because this is literally, in my case, a budget job. New side steps in black cost about $900. And this, the material for this, I need about two cans per. So it's gonna cost me like under $70 to do. Um, they're 16 bucks, 17 bucks a can times four. So with taxes and all that stuff, you know, still a lot more economical than any of the other solutions. So let me take my DA sander and let's get to it. Got that now all sanded on all four sides. All the shininess is gone. The underside as well, the front, all the edges. Just really take your time on this step. This is probably the most important step 
is this prep in order that that bed liner is going to stick. Um, next up is going to wiping everything down. I'm gonna use some acetone for that to get everything nice and clean, all the grease off and everything from my hands. And then we're gonna be about ready to give it the first coat of bed liner. All right, so I've set up now. I'm ready to start painting. I've masked off the parts where I don't want paint on. In my case, it's where the bolts screw into. And otherwise, I'm gonna want paint on everything. And got my cans all good shook up. And I'm just gonna follow the directions on the cans and start spraying. It is now a couple days later. You can see I have completely finished painting my sidestep. So it now matches the other one. As I said, prep is the most important part. And then follow the instructions on whatever product you use. And you can also get a great looking finish just like this and save yourself couple hundred dollars in the process. Now all I gotta do is put all the plastic parts back on and put it back on my truck and I'm good to go. And yeah, that's it for this video. Just to show you guys how you can black out these chrome parts with some bed liner. Uh, now I'd never use this type of bed liner on an actual bed because you'd need a ton of it to really get it nice and thick. But for something like this, I find it perfect. I hope this uh, video was informative for you guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Thanks.